Hey guys, um, we need to get in focus because seriously, I know I'm wearing the same outfit but um, and the same background, but I seriously, I'm trying to just pump out these hauls like a baby. Just like, push it, let's go, let's just get it done. Um, not that I don't enjoy it, but it's just that, um, love to just get back to drinking. One of my favorite things on the Planeto, so... Um, I'll start with, this is going to be a shoe haul today. I actually just got um, my final shoe order like yesterday with day four um, and I was hiding it from my mom because I didn't want her to see it. So when it came on, arrived on the doorstep, I had to like, go to my car and like shove it in there and passenger seat and go to work because I know what she's going to say. If she sees another like cardboard box at the doorstep, she's going to be like, Camille, you're gonna you're gonna be in debt. You're gonna be bankrupt. You don't have anything saved up. And I'm like, you don't understand. I work at a shoes place for a reason. Um, but the I actually this was seriously gonna be one of my biggest disappointments if this impulse buy did not work out for me. Um, I actually just started reusing the guilt wish list and I know that I use I really really frequently use the shop bop wish list like I'll put every single thing there but in terms of using the guilt one um, I don't really use that as much because um, I don't know it's just I feel like I never really see those things again that I put on since it is a flash sale site and you'll never really know if you'll see it so it's like what's the point it's not gonna happen but I put um, these Brian Atwood pumps Brian Atwood, and they're actually B by Brian Atwood, so they're like the lesser version, which I had no idea, but nonetheless, sexy, sexy by Justin Timberlake all over. Um, and I caught these, um, I caught, I really have been wanting red patent pumps for the longest time, maybe since like beginning of this year, which this year is a long time because 365 days is a long time and I know this year is not over, but seriously I've been looking, comparing all these designers, what I want in a red sexy shoe. And don't get me wrong, I love my Giuseppe's to death, I'm still going to walk down the aisle and dance, to, and dance in them. Um, to dance the night away in them, I love that, dark red velvet, the best red ever. But I needed more of like, I don't want to say an everyday red because I'm not going to wear this shoe every day, but like more of a bright cherry um, for just like maybe some first date, some night out with the girls, just like fun. Um, even maybe wearing it on like to work if I ever do get at that point in my career. Um, but I really needed some red patent peep toe pumps nonetheless. And the style that I got by Brian Atwood is called the Alana. And I love that they name, it's kind of like Deborah Lippman or, not Deborah Lippman, um, Zoya Nail Polish. They name their stuff after like real people, so it sounds like a human name. And this is called the Alana Pump, and it's in the color Bernice Red. So here's all the details for that right there. I'm actually going to slowly unveil and wrap this and show you because... That's how precious this box means to me since this is one of my most prized shoes. Even though it is a staple classic, it comes in a little dust bag like that, which any any high-end designer does. Um, at first I thought this was a little ring, but I think it's just for if the, like the little soles of the heel come off, then you can replace that. So it comes in a dust bag, which hallelujah, I need a dust bag. Um, and I got these babies in a size 7, and they're like the most adorable, most walkable shoes ever. I just love how different the, um, the heel looks. It's only about a 3 and 3 quarters of an inch height, so it's definitely walkable. Like, I could seriously walk all day, and these are nothing. Like, 3 inches is piece of cake walk. Let's walk, like, the ends of the earth with. Um, but it kind of reminds me of Prada, the way that they're like square, um, squale, squale, <laughs> square toe um, heel looks like that. So it's really, really a stable heel, even though it looks dangerously thin. Um, it's not too high. And the peep toe, I know lots of um, red or just peep toes in general, especially for the old ladies. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But the older lady shoes have more of a wider footbed, so maybe like the peep toe maybe out to here. And 
maybe like three or four toes will be showing, which I feel like is ridiculous. For peep toe, it should be only be like two or three at the most. And this one is actually a pretty good median size. It only shows like two or three shoe um, toes, <laughs> two three shoes. Um, but I don't even want to touch the patent leather. It's just so gorgeous. Everything that I've been looking for in a heel. It's such a good price. I've been wanting to try this designer forever, but if I was ever going to get a crazy like style of a designer, I would get like Alexander McQueen or Vivian Westwood or someone that's crazy about shoes. Not like Brian Atwood. It's only more like an American designer. Um, Be friended by Rachel Zoe. Didn't want to get anything too too out there. But I just love how simple the inside looks. I've already tried them on in the car. I mean, for Italian shoes, they're size 7, so they're kind of like really, really tight. But I feel like since it is made out of leather, it has leather um, outside and leather inside, um, patent leather. So it's real leather all around. But um, I mean, I think I'll be fine. So if anything, if I need to, I'm just going to wear them like on a rainy day and just stretch out the leather. Just kind of like what I was trying to do today um, because... I really need them to work out for me and that 7 was seriously the only size that was left in like all of the sizes for that Brian Atwood style. So I seriously want to like just hug it and like kiss it to death, it's just so beautiful! Um, and the box is just super sleek and gorgeous too so of course I'm going to save the box but that's my first shoe. The second one, um, I told you we're starting with the most exciting ones. It's a little bit different than my previous shoe hauls, hauls before. Um, it's actually um, more of like an impulse buy, like slash, I don't know if this is going to fit me because it's a size 8. But for the price, I was just like, I cannot give this up because it's seriously um, a no-brainer. It's like $40. And the shoe that I got is by Mark and James. It's actually Badgley Mishka's. Um, the designer is Mark um, Mark Badgley and James Mis Mishka, or maybe it's the other way around. But they made like a cheaper or um, kind of a more trendier um, off off version of their brand, kind of like Mark by Mark Jacobs. So they made a Mark and James brand. And I am in love with the box. It's just super sleek, like plain black and white packaging. Their signature is super cute. And the style, these are the shoes that I got. And they're definitely, without a, a doubt, shadow of a doubt, is summer, summer shoes. And these like sexy babies, I just want to go to Rio de Janeiro or to a local discoteca and to Spain in and dance dance all over little boys and little men and I just love these shoes. Um, this patent black, I just can't get over it. I mean, this heel is not that bad. It's only like maybe three or four inches. Um, and you don't forget this like me really, really baby mini half inch um, platform right there. But from the front, it just looks like a really, really simple black sandal, but the back, I just, you know me and my mystery intrigue, I love like different patterns and, and interests. This has more of like a raffia kind of tribal print right there, and then like the bottom of the sole, if like just be careful not to get it dirty, has the continued like raffia um, straw tribal print on the sole right there, so um, if I do it to the lowest the smallest um, anklet hole, which is going to be like this little hole right there. That's going to be the smallest for me. It's going to squeeze my ankles really, really tight, um, which I don't mind. But for a size 8, I definitely need it to fit and work for me. I was walking around with this um, today, the other day, seriously thinking I might need to put a little ball of the foot kind of footbed right there because... These are really big, and I know it may not look big from the back, but like if I keep sliding, even though I have that little ankle thing on, it's like, um, I might be really uncomfortable since it's not my real size. And I think I'm just gonna really have to invest in a good like footbed right there to keep me from sliding forward. Um, and either like a gel formula would probably do the best trick for that. So I'm super, super excited that I got these. So I'm going to return these from Buckhead or Atlantic Station or something. I think it's like Buckhead. And me and the other um, assistant manager were both eyeing this for a while. 
And when we finally did our last price adjustment change, we just had a clearance rotation. We um, it came down to forty dollars. So forty dollars for Mark and James Badgley Mishka shoes, top of the line. Last season is now bad. Let me just tell you, I'm gonna cry, eat it, and weep it. Haters, just just hate it, just cry right now. So um, I'm really excited about that, and I just can't wait them to wait to wear them with lots of summer outfits. I really can't wait to wear them like this as the staple centerpiece of my outfits. Um, and of course, just everything of this box makes me want to go, go like crazy over. Um, so I'm going to make them work because they're not my size. But seriously, can't really beat that. And the last two are actually not as exciting, but nonetheless, they're booties. And um, if you're like me, I kind of like wearing shoes year-round. I don't really like particularly making them for like a staple season or even like a certain color after the season. Like to hell with all that color stuff. Like you can wear whatever you want to wear as long as you know what you're doing. And for me, I really wanted some booties that I can transition into spring and after the fall. And I got these when I was in Nashville like uh, like two weeks ago and I've worn them like maybe a couple of times and they're by Bear Traps and have you heard of Bear Traps are like seriously like Clark's, Merrill, they're like really earth, uh, not earth friendly, they're very comfort friendly brands and I actually think Bear Traps is like one of the um, the off brands or sister brand of that and I got the it's a booty called Season and it's in the color Mushroom which I think is adorable because I love mushrooms but the reason why I got this is because it doesn't really look like a bad booty at all like um, I know the toe area looks kind of funky and weird which is kind of why I did not want to buy this booty in the first place because lots of bear traps or at least comfort brands they kind of have that little little hobbit like elf toe box area where it looks like it like protrudes out so I really am not a big fan of that but I seriously think I could overlook that for the comfort it's only about like maybe a two inch heel which is definitely durable I could wear it for like 24 hours and then I really loved it because it was the brown that I was looking for and then I think the detailing is really cute with the the belt buckle on the outside it kind of reminds me of like all of the trendy outerwear hardware that is um, going on this season and then it has like a zip up on the inside right there so I really really like it um, I've been wearing it with a couple different outfits from just skinny jeans to dresses to with tights so you can really take this with anything because it is brown and you can wear this with a lot of stuff so I really hope you guys like it as much as I do because I've, I've gotten a lot of use out of it and it was when I went to the Marshalls where I got it in Nashville it was the last pair and this was actually the display so not bad I mean I don't really care if it's a display but um, as long as it's in good condition and it doesn't look wretched so um, I got had to just pick up that because you know I need comfortable shoes and I need booties you know just trying to validate any excuse for that um, and then the last one I got was actually really uh, kind of expensive it would probably be the second most expensive shoe from today and it's by Crown Vintage and I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Crown Vintage I mean I certainly have not until I worked at DSW and it's in a really really adorable light pink box which I mean if you're a girly girl you will love it and has a crown on it so hence Crown Vintage um, but I have been looking at this booty for the longest time since they released it, like, I want to say in, like, August. It's been so, so long, and we've had this forever. But since I I was in a kind of in a time pitch, and I needed to get a booty and to wear it um, to my second selling job, um, and it went with my outfit, I was like, whatever, I'm just going to buy it. It's still going to be cheaper than, you know, regular price anyways. It was seriously retails for $90, guys. I don't know why. I mean, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but I love how different it looks. Um, it could be that the suede, the le the suede leather, whatever, um, is definitely top grade, um, good quality. So it's probably why it's really expensive. But with my discount, it was like $60 or something. So um, I got this. It's called the Gabby Booty. 
and it's in the co in the shade gray. I don't know if you can tell from the way it's looking in camera, but um, this is the gray booty, and it also comes in a dark brown. And I was debating. Uh, I've seriously had my heart set on getting the brown one for the longest time, but um, since I just got those bear tops in a brown, I didn't want it to repeat it and then get another brown. So I got the gray, and it looks more like a taupey. Yeah, here's a really, really good version of it right here on camera. Um, taupey, kind of a lighter brown. So I love how distressed and patched looking it is. And what drew me to it is this like zigzaggy, um, like braided material, not braided, zigzaggy like cross material right there. So that's why I got that. And uh, also, I don't know if you could tell from the way I'm holding it, it has more of a distressed look on the heel area and then also in the toe area right here. So if I go really close, you can probably tell that right here it looks a little darker and faded and then in the back as well it looks a little faded right there. So I'm sure the light will probably pick up on that really well right there. It's like a darker. So that's why I got these. Um, they're just like your basic kind of everyday. I seriously have all my outfits right now that I have hanging. I don't want to wear them because I wanted to buy booties. And I think I could wear these with all of them. And I'm sure you'll just love how cute they look with all of them. So um, these are called a Gabby once again. Um, if you are like probably the most traditional person, you could wear these over bootcut jeans. But if you're kind of adventurous like me, you'll wear them with like fun tights and just chunky socks, bright colors, so for such a job boot like this, you definitely need to bring some light into your wardrobe, so I got that, and that's all the shoes I have today for you, thanks for sticking around once again, um, hopefully you guys have seen um, Twilight and Skyfall, probably the biggest movies of the year right, out, right now out, I just saw Skyfall with my mom a couple days ago, and or last weekend and it was pretty good I love the ending it was just amazing um, the beginning was kinda slow but um, I just saw Twilight last night not in the movies but illegally <laughs> but Twilight was really good too so um, I'll have to see that when I can see more detail but you guys have fun with all of your um, your your plans, your shopping plans, and your 